All right, so I have now typed in the thing that we need, which is, I can see it's a coat, it's a dollar sign, it's a parenthesis, and full underscore current underscore path parenthesis and coat. You need this for the program to work out. Uh, I suggest that you can pause on, on this video and you can copy that out. Make sure this one is a coat. This thing is a coat. This thing is a dollar sign, and there's a parenthesis, and full, it needs to be in all caps, underscore current, underscore path, that's a parenthesis, and that's a coat. It's not an asterisk, it might look like an asterisk, but it's not, it's a coat. Alright, and also make sure that there's a space between the PY space and the coat, alright, there should be a space between it. All right. Now, once you're done with that, once that's all okay, all right, you can we can press and run, and let's see what comes out. There's, there's, the first thing that comes out is this black box right there, and the second thing that comes out is this, and this is what you need. If the program that you type in in Notepad comes out, it means that you did the right thing. Now, if this thing doesn't come out, there's something wrong with your installation, and you need to reinstall it. Alright, since this thing came out, we are good to go. All we need to do now is click on Run and find Run Module. Now, you don't really need to click on Run, you just need to press F5 if in your case, if you can do that. But in my case, I'm just showing to you what to click. So, Run Module, and there you go. This thing came out. This thing is a Python shell, and since we said print X, we should see 10. And there you go, we have a 10, so this thing is running correctly. So thanks for watching, and I hope you make your program run. Alright, see you again.